Welcome to this week's Angel Messages. I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm thrilled that you've joined me on numerologist.com. So we are using numbers for our, again, for our angel messages. What you can do is you can choose either message one, two, or three, or number 20, 80, or 106. 20, 80, or 106. Place your hands on your heart, invite your angels to guide you to whichever message, whichever number feels right for you at this time. All right, you ready? So I have three cards, I'm gonna shuffle them. So number one is 106. So if you chose number one or 106, this is your message. This is Archangel Radziel. So this beautiful angel is very much about connection to wisdom and secrets. See, there's a book that's right there. This is green and lilac. Green is the color of the heart. Lilac is the color or violet is the color of the crown chakra. So there's a connection between the heart and the crown chakra. So there's almost a connection to your purpose, to your spirit, to your soul, to your life on this planet at this time. And it's almost like the angels are saying you may be seeking something or you may be looking for something or trying to find the answer to something for you at this time. Call now Archangel Radziel to help you. 106. One to me is the number of the sun. It's that sense of your individual. And it feels almost as if at this time you may get this sense that you're by yourself. You're doing this alone. And it's not true, you're not, you're not alone. You know, your angels are with you, you're always supported, you're always surrounded by love. So it may feel as if you're alone sometimes, but you're not. There's always somebody there with you. The zero that's there, I often see zeros like um, a wheel, almost, you know, I have this tendency to look at, at the wheel, um, like the water wheels, you know, when you get the old mills that would have water and then the, the wheels would go around for the mill. It's like, that's the sort of image that I see. And I see with that wheel that you are on this wheel of time, that time is moving for you sometimes very quickly, sometimes very slowly, but it's connected to your emotions, that water energy that's coming through. At least this is what I'm seeing with this particular card and this energy. So sometimes feeling alone, sometimes feeling as if your emotions might get a little bit stuck or they're overflowing, or but it's very much that emotional energy that's moving you through time at the moment. And then this six is Venus, it's love. So there is this movement with the vibration of love and connecting with love and loving yourself, etc. One and six equals seven, which is Neptune in seven year. And again, there is movement that comes with this, a connection again to spirit and your soul and your light and the angels. So to me, this whole message is about realizing you're not alone, knowing that Sometimes life can be emotional. Sometimes it can feel that things aren't moving for you and it's because the emotions are blocked. And it's inviting that love back into your life, inviting your angels in to support you and allowing yourself to be in this place of your spirit in alignment with your light and alignment with the divine in alignment with your truth. And I feel that is what the message is from Archangel Red Seal for you, is about finding your truth, finding your movement forward, finding the love that is for you, finding yourself not alone, allowing yourself to reconnect. How does that feel? I feel like there's so much more to that message. Like I don't have enough time for it. It just feels like I could talk for hours on this with that green and violet as well, connecting your heart and your crown. Do some work with connecting these two energies together. There may have been a bit of a disconnect. Ooh, that's right, I can feel that going through me. <laughs> okay, 
Second card, number two, let's see, number two is this one, which is the number 20. So if you chose two or 20, this is your card, Judgment. Now in Orosoma, this particular bottle is called Star Child. It's blue on top, pink on the bottom. And when you bring those two colours together, it's violet, which is change and transformation. This is the Judgment. So you see, I love this card, you see here, these people together, they're birthing the child, there's the angel that is there taking the child. Part of this is about the lessons that you've learned. Just everything that has gone before, it's not to beat yourself up about stuff you've done, to let go of guilt, to realize that we're all on a journey and it's just part of your experience of being in physical form. But know that you are surrounded by the angels, that you are supported all the time. And as you learn, as you grow, it's like you're taking this information into the ethers and we are all benefiting from that. So even the challenges that happen to you, when you learn through those challenges, we all benefit. So your purpose is that learning. Your purpose is sharing. Your purpose is your experience and offering it up to, for all of us to learn from it too. To gain from your experience, to gain from your challenges, to gain from the beautiful blessings that are in your life as well. So I'm feeling with this, that pink and blue, it's balance of male and female within you. The pink and blue is healing the child. The pink and blue is allowing the child within you to be expressed, to share, to speak your truth. And it's allowing the love that is there for you. Allowing yourself to be loved. Allowing yourself to be the child again. Allowing yourself to be embraced by your angels. When these two colors come together, it's violet. Violet is a color of transformation and change. So your angels are saying there is change that is coming and you're going from the old you into the new you. So you'll be letting go of some parts that don't need to go with you and you'll be taking the experience with you, of course, and then there's a new adventure that's ahead for you. So lots of different things are in here for you at this time. The two for me, is the number of the moon. So it's the light side and the dark side of the moon. Again, there's balance that's there. And again, it's acknowledging that these two parts are a part of you. And it's not to feel guilty or, or feel bad uh, about the dark side of yourself or even the light side of yourself. They're parts of you and it's to embrace all of you. That's where your power is. The zero again is there and I just feel like it's coming to the end of a cycle, a new one is coming in for you. I love that. Our final card, number three, is 80. And 80 is the High Priestess because in the Orosoma, the Tarot comes around again, the Major Arcana comes around again. But this is Artemis. So she is red and pink. I love this. I love this vibration. You see that she's on the tree of life. She's opening herself up to being vulnerable. She is part of the wisdom. She is part of the truth. She is part of growth. The red and pink are colors of love. They're colors of passion, movement forward, journeying red and pink and there's a rainbow that's here as well she is saying i have conquered i am courageous i am allowing myself to be vulnerable so that i can find even more strength in that i feel that your angels you know just this image <laughs> and i have lots of energy coming around the top of my head right now I just have this image of you getting to the finish line and all your angels are cheering you on. There's just that sense of it. You're moving through the finish line. It just feels fabulous, I say. So call on your angels right now to help you get to the finish line. 
lots of messages this week about changes and moving forward and endings and new beginnings, aren't there? So 80, 8, as above, so below. 8 is that beautiful energy of abundance, isn't it? Manifesting, manifesting what it is that's in your heart. And that zero again of ending new beginning. But I'm feeling like that zero is an aspect of you learning your power, of realizing and recognizing your power and allowing yourself to make mistakes and learn from them so that then you can say, okay, this is what I'm going to do next instead of that because that didn't work this is going to be a better path for me. Take what works for you. I feel that manifestation energy is coming in red and pink. The heart is so important. Love is so important. There's movement forward. Red is a color of abundance as well. So this is a great time for you. There's a sense of luck. There's a sense of blessings coming in. But there's a feeling here with Artemis because Artemis has an arrow, she points her arrow and she gets right to the target. So this is very much about being focused on what it is you want to manifest so that you can bring it into your reality. I love that, oh my goodness. Okay, that's it for this week. Sending you so much love, angel blessings to you. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.